Hi, this is Bob with Aspire. I'm representing uh, Syusla and Mapleton High Schools here with some information for students who have completed their junior year, congratulations, and are entering the senior year in high school. There is a lot to do as you prepare for life after high school. What we're going to be talking about here, there's, this is divided up into two videos. The first one, this one, is going to cover the summer before your senior year and then also the fall of your senior year up to about December. The second video will cover the winter, spring, and a little bit of follow-up for the summer after your senior year. So let's go ahead and get started here with the summer before your senior year. Starting with getting a job. And if you are able to do this and will need the money for college, uh, we highly recommend it. Line up your job ahead of time because at the start of the summer, jobs do uh, already, many are already filled. So if you can uh, get started as soon as possible with signing up for a job and then save the money. Don't spend it, if at all possible. Um, <clears throat> save it for tuition, uh, apartment, deposit on an apartment, uh, buying a car, whatever it is you're going to need. Okay, the next thing is volunteering. And we do encourage uh, all of our students to volunteer as much as possible prior to or during their senior year. And the reason is, first of all, uh, many scholarship organizations are looking for uh, whether you've had volunteer experience, and secondly, colleges are looking for what kind of community service you've done. So do get some volunteer experience. Make a plan for after graduation. Uh, whether it's going to be college or trade school or a job, or taking a year off, a gap year, uh, any number of possibilities, but at least work on that plan. We, of course, can help you with this in Aspire. Prepare for the SAT or ACT if you're going to need them. And that's not certain anymore because some colleges, particularly since the coronavirus, are um, moving away from requiring the SAT or the ACT. So check and see what's needed and uh, if you do need to take them, then do some preparation. We offer some help in Aspire, or we offer some other ways that you we can suggest other ways that you can um, get uh, some preparation. Also, apply for the SAT and the ACT uh, well before you're going to be taking them. If you are in a minority group, apply for the Gates Millennial Scholarship if you're eligible. That's one of the early deadlines, September 15th. So you really have to be working on that during the summer. Take enrichment classes. University of Oregon, Oregon State, Lane Community College, uh, Western, Southern, Eastern Oregon universities, and of course, Portland State, um, all offer summer enrichment for high school students. And not only is this going to look good on your resume, but it's also going to give you a head start, perhaps on a subject that interests you. The Rotary Youth Leadership Academy is in June, that's RILA, and it is something that we recommend. Some of our students have done this and spoken very highly of it. You do need to register in advance. Now, turning to the fall of your senior year, there's a lot to do. First of all, sign up for Aspire if you haven't already. And if you click on this link, uh, you will find a sign up form which you can then print and have a parent or guardian sign unless you're 18, in which case you can sign for yourself and then turn it back into the Aspire office. Read the new Aspire handbook for Syusla and Mapleton students. Uh, that's a link to it right here. It's on our new website. We now have two websites that work together. And if you click on this link, you will find the entire handbook. It's about 45 pages, but you can certainly um, take a look at just parts of it that you need. It's a reference book. Review your transcript with the counseling office to make sure that you will have enough credits to graduate by the end of the school year. Read the Aspire newsletters as they're published, and those will be posted here. They're usually distributed as paper copies uh, assuming that school is in session, and then we will be posting them here to this link so you'll be able to go back and look at them anytime. 
Continue to volunteer. Again, we keep stressing the importance of volunteering. If you click on this link, you will find a, uh, a document of about six pages, which has lots of different organizations listed where you can volunteer. Join a leadership class, yearbook class, Interact, Key Club, uh, National Honor Society, if you're eligible, prom committee, etc. These are all good things to have on your resume and they're great learning experiences too. All right, continuing with the fall of your senior year, check your GPA. If you're planning to go to a state college or university, uh, you will need at least a 3.0 or very close to that. If you're going to a community college, and you will be applying for Oregon Promise, which is a grant program just for community college, uh, you will need a 2.5. So again, double check your grade point average. The higher the grade point average, the more scholarships you will receive also. So there are a number of reasons for making sure that that GPA is as high as you can make it. And it's not too late in the fall of your senior year. Uh, and even in the spring, you can still bring up your GPA. Prepare for and take the SAT or ACT if needed. As already mentioned, uh, there are testing sessions in the fall and you really need to get this done before December, uh, before, on or before the December testing date so that the colleges, your colleges will have the information before they make their decisions. Apply to QuestBridge. This is something that uh, if you're interested in going out of state and have financial need, this is a great program. Uh, and you can ask about it in the uh, counseling uh, or uh, Aspire office. The FAFSA, free application for federal student aid. Uh, that opens on October 1st, and of course, there's a lot more information. This is a link to a video, by the way, that we created about the FAFSA and how to apply. Um, and you have plenty of time after October 1st, but we do encourage you to get your application in early. Uh, it is possible, if you have financial need, that you could receive up to $6,195 per year for your four years in college. So it's well worthwhile. Uh, in early October at Sayusla High School, we will have local scholarship and financial aid night, uh, and we will be giving out flash drives uh, with information uh, and applications for scholarships and um, some other things. And uh, also there will be some great information there about the FAFSA and about uh, our local scholarship. Some of our providers will be there to talk with you. Early on in your senior year, talk to teachers about writing letters of, of recommendation. You will need two of them for the common scholarship application. And those teachers do not want to be asked at the very last minute. Uh, imagine if there were 20 students asking for a letter of recommendation in the last week before they're due, they simply wouldn't have time to do it. So please start lining those up very early. And vote! The first Tuesday of November is always voting day, and we certainly encourage our seniors who are or will be 18 by that date to vote and you can register when you're 17. So if you haven't done so already, stop by the Aspire office and we will give you a form and explain how to register. It's very simple. All right, one more page on the fall of your senior year. A VFW scholarship is um, available and the application is fairly early in the school year, November 1st. There is an essay, but we do encourage that uh, students apply for that. Then, early action to your college and university, which is optional, but particularly Oregon State and the uh, University of Oregon and some private colleges and universities do offer this option. If you apply by November 1st, you will know by the middle of December whether you are accepted or not. This is primarily for students who know where they want to go and want to get this done early. Oregon Promise opens November 1st for applications. Again, click on this link for uh, a video about Oregon Promise and how to apply. You could get um, up to say $2,500 additional help uh, for community college if you are eligible. The Elks Most Valuable Student Scholarship for top students uh, with high GPAs and community service uh, 
record of community service. That is due by November 5th. Again, it's a fairly early scholarship application, so don't forget about that. And the Kaiser Permanente uh, scholarship application is due in early December. And that one is for students going into some aspect of the field of medicine. And then there is the Rhodey Court. And the application is due in early December. And there are scholarships that go with being mem a member of the Rhodey Court. Finally, work on your essays for the SRSA, which is the Sayusla Regional Scholarship Application. That is due in mid-March, but it's easy to put that one off and we don't recommend doing it. Be working on those essays and we will review them with you and help you edit and prepare them. And then once the application comes around in March, you'll be all set. So uh, that's what we recommend for the fall of your senior year. We'll be back with another video and that will cover uh, the winter and spring of your senior year.